Hey everyone, today we have a multicaster game with the TF Legend. Set 9.5 patches have been pretty rough on launch. And this time we got an assortment of multicaster changes and buffs. Before the patch, multicasters essentially did nothing until you hit a 3 star bell cause. What's absurd about this comp is that you're stable on 2 stars, and then you instantly win when you hit your 3 stars. Twisted Fate and Pandora's items are so important because items are very particular. Bows and swords are pretty much dead, and blue buff is broken, and is BIS on all of the multicasters. So Twisted Fate just lets you not play TFT, because you don't have to adapt or compromise your items, you just get to play BIS every single game. You'll see me scout a lot on stage 2, because I want to gauge how contested I am. But surprisingly, I'm in the clear this game. Yeah, there's no shot I'm winning this. I don't want to sell these Noxus units, or these TS, so I guess I just pre-level. Stable Evolution Void is so strong early on. I'm just going to take a Bell Cause because items don't matter. Well, I'm on a 2 loss. I might as well sell these Noxus units. I'll keep the Cloak because I really like D-Claw. Kill that Rek'Sai, and it's only a 3 unit loss. My item rolls have been great. So these two Dragonauts does two things. Helps me make Econ, and make sure I keep my Lost Streak. I guarantee you lose. Hopefully my team can focus fire and kill something. I really like Gunblade and JG as my TF items. I can just go for TF items now, because my tank items are done. The third item is going to be the Radiant item on Galio. My items are almost there, but I don't have any frontline. Perfected Repetition is insane if not just because it gives a TF2. I'm gonna roll for Frontline. Galio is the main tank for this comp. Driving on 6 is insane. I want a Sona, but I'll set on Galio too. Look on my board right now. How strong do you think it is? Spoiler alert, if I told you I don't lose another fight for the rest of the game. JG is good, now I just wait for a sword. What's the lobby look like? Azir, Void, Hila, Mord, Void, Rift Walk and Ionia.
Surely Malzahar 3 can kill this Galio too. I'll take a Belkos too. Okay, I guess it didn't need it. I'll save this tier and start building Velkaz items. I don't think they have enough upgrades to justify going 7 without rolling. Now I just Econ up and slow roll for 3 stars. This guy's full tempo, but I don't know why you'd ever slam against Zeus. Perfect items. I think I just want to copy over the TF items onto Velkos. Where the heck is Soda? Well, Multicast has a huge spike because it gives everyone a Shojin. I'm going to dig for a Sona. Aeonius Scope Weapons Neva should be absolutely broken, right? Huh, that's weird. I guess it's just Magic Wand for more AP. Finally, a Sona. Merlo and Sona is good, but with 6 Velkoses, I'm down to itemize my dual carries. Took Silver Ticket, but somehow managed to miss Cassidy. Finding these galleries are a big deal. Swain is my level 7 add in. I heard you're supposed to roll in 6 for Void, but with this Malzahar 3, I think it's fine to go 7 for the Kai'Sa odds. I'll take a 3 cost with a sword. I have a duplicator, so I'm down to roll it down. Bench is getting kinda sus. Oh, we're hitting? I might as well dig for one more Galio. Once I hit Galio 3, I just instantly win the game. There's no reason to greed and go to level 7. Galio 3 is so strong. That's crazy how short these fights are. For perfect items, Galio should have Bramble over Spark, and then Sona gets Murillo and Shiv. Level to 7 to get in Swain for Sorkin Strategist, and now I keep rolling for Galio. I guess I just want a mana item for Sona.
It doesn't even matter what people are playing. I'm just too strong. Adaptive would have been fine on Sona. This poor guy can't find Cassid in 3, though I have no idea why they're still sitting on 30 gold. I guess I just go for Sona 3 as well. Just need one Galio. Perfect. Now I just win. This fight surprises me. They actually managed to kill Galio 3. Oh no. I guess I take the Talia. Sure, she can have a Hodge for mana. This guy's spot looks ridiculous. Too bad multicasters is a thing. Trojan probably isn't better than Adaptive Helm, but it's what I went for. Tear is good for an extra J4 cast. I wonder why they have items at Nautilus instead of Nasus. I guess I want AP items for Soda. No extra unit on 8, it's going to be stronger than just rolling for 3 stars. It doesn't really matter what I do at this point. I do think rolling for J4-2 until you 3 is better than going 8. The stupid amount of damage adds to the crazy healing from Gunblade. Rise is great. Gives him Voker and some CC. Not that I need it. It's crazy how one sided these fights are. That's a BG. I want this balance thrashed to the ground. Thanks for watching.